I realized that the fashion business is actually the worst. Our lie is so deep. We tell them, you're not skinny enough, you're not pretty enough, you're horrible. But if you buy our stuff, you're gonna get a little bit of less suckiness. The easiest thing to do is change the world because all you have to do is change yourself. And we do this by the images that we create. You take a model, take these amazing pictures of these people, and then you start photoshopping the crap out of them. You know, tuck in their belly, shave off. We're better off just making cartoons. For me, I was like, we can't do this anymore. So we took a hard line stance, no more photoshopping, no more don't touch the person's body. If everybody's going left, and I'm gonna go right. My parents immigrated out here in the early 60s. They're actually North Korean. They worked whatever jobs they could, parking cars, maintenance, dishwashing, like saved money and they started this uh, apparel company. They had this incredible business and this was now we're rolling into the 90s. At that point, the whole workwear started changing. I come in, I mean again, I was just a spoiled shithead brat that knew nothing. What I ended up stepping into was absolute disaster. I mean, we had, again, we had a product that had no relevance in the marketplace. Things started shifting, turning around by 99, profitable and moving in the right directions. By 2002, ended up paying off all old debt and becoming completely current. One of the big themes for us is really this, a rebel with a cause like against society and the status quo and so forth. And I just think that jeans is the best product that really voices and represents that concept. And it is industrial workwear, blue collar, low class, grit in your fingernails, you misfit or a thug of some sort. And then in today's world, it's called high fashion. It, to me, I'm like, oh my God, the ultimate fuck you to society, right? What's great about the jeans is, as they say, it's in the fit, and you feel like you can do anything. And I always remember when I was a kid, we used to get those brand new pair of running shoes or basketball shoes, and literally I thought I was jumping higher and running faster. And I bet anything, that day, I probably did jump higher and run faster than any other day. And I think it's a real powerful thing because you know, fashion gets this um, stereotype of being superficial. It's, you know, we're not curing cancer, as they say. And I argue a lot to say, you know what, I think we do have the ability to cure cancer. And people are like, oh my God, did you just say that? Jesus, curing cancer, you make clothes. I'm like, well, to me, the purpose of clothes is really to make you look and feel amazing about yourself. And not just physically, but you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. I mean, if we can constantly do that for people and make them feel amazing about themselves, I mean, what an amazing way to start the day.